What is going on guys? Gucci Knight in today's video. We're going to be talking about some stuff today. Today I want to talk a little bit about Microsoft Flight Sim content and uh, the Sim Update 5 that's going to be coming out uh, roughly uh, two and a half weeks from now. So uh, Sim Update 5 is going to be coming out and uh, Xbox Series X and S is coming out. It's not coming out to Xbox One as I expected. And um, news for helicopters for 2022 kind of broke out. Top Gun DLC uh, apparently got a release date for November 19th of this year. And some other stuff. So I want to talk and kind of break pretty much all this stuff down and kind of show. Not really show, but kind of just talk a little bit about these things and um, and stuff like that. So... The uh, biggest thing that kind of got uh, announced, they're getting a 60% uh, you know, increase into PC, and uh, everybody's going to kind of get a boost in their performance. And if you have a high-end GPU or CPU, it's going to really see a difference. Um, and there's a lot of stuff. Uh, the, uh, the amount of gigs for the premium edition for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, it's also going to have almost 147 gigs, which is kind of weird because I guess it's maybe they kind of have to get the compression right at, at a certain point later on. Um, I know it's like 83 gigs, almost like 93 gigs on PC, and that's not including mods and all that stuff. They're also rewriting the engine, so they're kind of basically going to be having that ability that you're going to be able to faster, jets are going to go faster, um, probably their real actual speeds like the F-22 Raptor A is really supposed to go like Mach 3 or something like that or you know what's 2200 miles per hour um, so that is supposed to have a realistic thing to it um, if you guys actually go to the I can't show it here because of you know copyright reasons but if you can actually go to the Microsoft Top Gun DLC expansion DLC, the trailer, and if you fast forward to like two minutes uh, and like 43 seconds to that trailer, you can actually see this uh, craft, this like three second craft, which I already know what it really is. It's the SR-72 Blackbird drone that's going to be featured in Top Gun 2, and that's what's kind of coming out. And actually that drone goes about Mach 6, according to the military.com site. And when they say that it, it goes Mach 6, I don't, we really don't know. And that's what's, like, coming out in 2030, but they're going to kind of feature it in the game and, you know, for DLC, for expansion. That's a real drone that is, like, unmanned and can go super speeds. Um, so that's going to be featured. And later this, I think they said November 19, 2021, and that's when that's coming out. Uh, so Xbox Series X... Um, it's going to be about 147 gigs, I think, for the premium edition, and like 111 gigs for the deluxe, and maybe like 93 for standard. So that's how they're kind of formatting it, I guess. I don't really know. All I know is that I think it's about 147 gigs for everything, really. Um, so that's what's kind of in the pipeline right now for Microsoft Flight Sim in terms of other stuff. Uh, Crossplay is also going to be on the Xbox Series X and S. So you'll be able to play with your PC pals if you have a PC and you're, you know, they're kind of PC elitist or whatever and they don't care for consoles. Well, Xbox Series S owners and X owners will be able to play with their friends. Uh, sadly, like I said, beginning of the video, it is not coming out to uh, Xbox One, base Xbox One. 1S or 1X. A lot of people I've seen that like, in reviews, a lot of people are actually complaining about this. It, it was going to happen anyways. Uh, both edition, the standard edition is $60 on the, the Series S and X, and premium I think is like $89, and the other one's $120. $120, of course, uh, if you live in the, here in the States. So, I do think that, um, that everybody's going to have to kind of get uh, a next-gen console, but there is hope because they did say that they might bring it uh, flights into xCloud. Uh, I think that's some kind of in preview program right now where they're going to be able to stream VI Flight Simulator to your Xbox One uh, eventually. 
but not dedicated hardware, of course, because I mean, if you take my phone for an example, and you know, I take this phone and I want to play remote play, I could take my PC or my Xbox Series X and I could play mobile on the go or anywhere. And if you have a fast enough connection, like a 5G phone with, you know, with like Verizon, T-Mobile, complete trash, don't ever get on my padded service and here in my state and then they drop calls everywhere. But that's beside the point. Uh, I mean, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, and the game is streaming a lot of data, uh, and so, I mean, it ha- it's doing what it needs to do, and that's why they had to come out with it only on the Xbox consoles. I mean, series consoles, of course. That That's what they felt more was more reliable, and the game performs better. I mean, if you have a mechanical drive on a PC, like a Barracuda 7200 RPM, the game ain't going to run right. The game is designed around fast right speed m.2s or solid states that's just how it is and people are gonna have to deal with that and people don't like that and it happens so helicopters uh that's planned that's actually planned right now they did say that uh, a dev blog post uh on their future plans and that was like the top plan of 2022 and that's already planned out it's already confirmed that helicopters are coming out somewhere between middle of 2022 maybe summertime I would love to see military helicopters like American ones, Russian ones, and all kinds of stuff. I'd love to see that happen. That would be really cool. I'd like to fly like an you know, Apache or you know, or something like that. Or maybe come out with a commando helicopter. That was like a concept back in the early was the nineties or two thousands and they kinda of canned it and they went with something else and that was like a cool cool uh you know, Comanche, I think it was caught. So I, I think um there's a lot of things that are coming, and I, I, I think that's what's going to really show is helicopters next year. People really want that. that. That's the big plan out for that. A lot of cool stuff. Um, so this is the stuff that I'm kind of just memorizing right now at the moment. Uh, like Crossplay, cross saves coming out for PC and Xbox. I don't know how that's going to really work because if you own it on Steam, of course, you still need an Xbox account. I don't know if like mods are going to kind of carry over with the Xbox Series X. It is a PC version. Like... The version that you get on Xbox Series X and S is the PC version of Flight Sim that's on PC. It's a PC port to X consoles. So that, that'd that be really cool. Um, and I, I'm really excited for that. I, I think it's going to be an, a really nice year for Flight Sim content. And we'll have to really wait and see on what things come to be. But uh, I'm, the reason why I don't have gameplay today and I'm just doing kind of a, a, off a thought vlog you know vlogger today is to kind of just tell you guys that it, it, everything is going to come uh, i am going to be releasing gameplay for metro detroit in downtown detroit on the series x on the 28th or 9th somewhere between them days probably not on the 27th but the 29th probably the reason why i'm doing it on the 29th probably or 28th is because i think the game comes out that was the 27th something around there so um uh, that's what's really going to come into being so a lot of things are coming, um, a lot of exciting things, and I thought I'd just talk about it in a vlog and kind of just instead of having gameplay and hearing an engine in the background, you know, and I'll do gameplay on that performance, and I think it's really going to see. And I was bright. I was like right last uh, last month in June, uh, this month's almost over, almost two months ago now, um, that it wasn't good. The only thing I got wrong in that video was uh, the release date for the Series X. So... Um, but everything else was kind of right, and, and I mean, it happens. You know, you got to upgrade to the latest and greatest next gen. Of course, you don't have to worry about paying seventy bucks for a standard edition of the game. It's sixty, so it's a true next gen game at sixty bucks. Probably Halo Infinite the same way, and stuff like that. I, I'm very excited for that. Top Gun DLC, I think, is going to be really cool. Um, and the only reason why too, they're kind of rewriting the engine and kind of updating the thing is probably because they want things to go fast in the game they want to make crafts more realistic so even if you have a military craft like necessarily serve to blackbird drone that goes mach 6 the the game can keep up and the game won't freak out when you're going like like you're a typhoon that's like the fastest jet in the game at the moment that you pay for for like 20 bucks and it goes 1500 knots that craft is going that fast in like seattle washington or some major city like new york city or something like that. It's just it's too much. Even Detroit, it's or Flint, or any major city that the game has to render in, it's it's too much. So 
that'd be very it'd be interesting. Also, the Tomcat, the F-14 Tomcat that DC Design makes, they make also the F-15, that got delayed until August because they know that the game's going to be probably broke and they don't want to make sure that the code's right. And, yeah, that's probably why they pushed that into early August. That's, that's another thing that I kind of forgot to talk about as well. So I'm just kind of getting things that I kind of know so far. And, uh, yeah, some of the 5-60% imp- improvement, I think, has also come to the, the consoles as well. Very, very excited to see what that's going to come to be. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the content, and uh, I'll I'll make sure to post. If you guys want to see any more subscribe request videos, let me know. Also announcing a new game today. I'm announcing Horizon Five today, as of right now. Uh, I know that game's until November. But I'm doing content on Horizon 5. It's probably going to be like on the weekends and stuff like that. It probably won't be like, you know, we'll still have Flight Sim content, of course. A lot of that, too. But uh, I'm really excited for Horizon 5. That's a really big uh, arcade simulation type game that I'm really excited for. It's like one of the most biggest, probably biggest Horizon games in a long, long time, probably since the first one. So I'm really excited for that that's the game that i'm maybe announcing for the channel and doing content on and stuff it's gonna be really cool but i I, like i said still be doing flight sim content and still be doing all that stuff i thought i'd go ahead and give an update on that as well um but that's all i have to really say today guys i hope you guys enjoy the content we're almost to 500 subs it would be appreciated don't forget the like button would be appreciated well helps the algorithms out and uh hopefully i'll catch you guys out there um with Xbox Series X gameplay sometime next couple weeks, two and a half weeks from now. Be a really exciting time. Can't wait. And uh, there's a lot of things coming. Oh, I am having a live stream two weeks from now as well, too. So uh, I'm going to be live streaming with uh, a good friend of mine. I kind of met him, YouTuber. Uh, it's going to be kind of a surprise. Um, that's going to be live stream. I'm going to be doing that sometime, you know, two weeks from now it's gonna be a join in discord and his discord of course and a group flight it's gonna be a group flight it's gonna be really cool and i uh, can't wait for that so it's gonna be nice anyways hope to catch you guys next time if you have any questions comments don't forget grab, uh, subscribe until next time this is game machine nine with no gameplay today just me talking and uh catch you guys next one peace out